I'm Bruce Grace, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco, and I want to talk to you about identifiers on the MicroTorque system. Now, identifiers are a way to take an identification string and use it to prompt something in the controller. The MicroTorque system is compatible with two types of identifiers, both barcode scanner and RFID. So either one is going to work the same way, but let's go through an example of how you can set up an identifier. So here in the software, we're going to go into the Enter Scan, and now it's asking me to scan that identification string that I want to use. So in this case, we're going to use the PCB board, which has its own unique identification string. We're going to scan it, and you can see that it populated the identification string for that PCB board. Let's save it by clicking OK. It's automatically filled in this validation portion. We don't have to worry about anything here. But there are several different types of prompts, like I was saying before, that we can use this identification string for. We can save an ID, we can select a PSET and trigger it, we can select a batch sequence and trigger it, we can log into the controller, we can store in custom IDs like information that we need to save from an identification string, or we can select a verification program if you're using the QA station. In this example, let's keep it simple. Let's use this PCB board to trigger a tightening program. So we're gonna hit select PSET. Do we want to keep this P set until another identification string is populated? Let's put no. Um, you can change that to yes, obviously. And then here, you're going to have a list of all the different tightening programs you've already created. Let's use this simple torque step of 6 cent newton meters. Now, the only other thing you need to note on the identifiers is these uh, key 1 through 4. You can actually take different portions of that string and save them in your data. Now you should be all set up to use this identifier. One last thing you want to check though is go to the controller tab and make sure that your select source is set up as scanner. You'll want to save that. But as soon as I scan this PCB board, it should pull up that tightening program that we identified. I'm going to scan the PCB board and it pulled up PSET number 8, the 6 cent newton meters. Right? So at this point I can take my screws and it's only going to run that P set while I'm using this identifier. Now, typically, we see customers with bins on their workstation, and they'll put a barcode for the screw type. That way, if there's a specified tightening program for that screw type, an operator can scan the bin, then pull the screw out and tighten the piece, and they're using the right tightening program for it. Um, or like with RFID, if you had an RFID device plugged in through USB and they had a badge, they could use it to log into the controller. These are many just different types of ideas that you can use the identifiers for, but this is a basic instruction on how to set them up. This has been an overview of identifiers and a quick example on how to set them up in the MicroTurk system. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.